بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرخلی صدری و یسلی عمری وحل العدتم الیسان یفو قولی السلام علیکم ایوریوان اوکے ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ ہاو ٹو کنورٹ دا فالوینگ ڈی انڈی نمبر انٹو ایکزا ڈیسیمل کمپیوٹر سائنس ڈبل ٹو ون زیرو اس دا کوڈ ڈبل ٹو ون زیرو او لیول آئی ٹی سی ایس سی Activity 1.6 convert the following daily number into hexadecimal uh, so let's take a start uh, we are going to solve the part a b c d till j so let's do this okay first of all we are going to solve 98 and we need to generate its what simple hexadecimal um, value so here it is here is what 98 okay uh, this uh, slide this video also has the teacher as well they can integrate this tutorial in their class they can pause me like right now I'm talking they can just pause the video and they ask from the student okay what are the possible solution to uh, find the uh, hexadecimal of this dnd number I'm using only method number one there are uh, basically two methods uh, so I'm using what's a successive deviant later on I will tell you about that how do you go for the uh, second method as well so let's take a start so first of all we need to convert when we are going uh, to find the uh, dnd uh, hexadecimal of this dnd number so we need to divide with base 16 okay let's uh, 16 ones are no 16 ones are not 16 six are 96 and uh, 16 sevens are what it's 112 it's a greater value so we will go for the six six are 96 and we will get the two as a remainder okay now we cannot further divide this six with base 16 because this is less than this one is six is less than 16 so finally we got the value 62 and how you will write this take start from the left side move towards the right side so uh, the final answer will be it will go down over here 6 and 2 will go down over here and so 98 is equal to this is daily number and the hexa of this daily number is 62 now we are going to solve the another question part b and this time our daily number is 227 so let's take a start so first of all we need to make a pair because uh, 2 is less than 16 I'm going to make this pair so 16 ones are 16 16 2 times is 32 so uh, 32 is greater than this 21 so I will go one, one time 16 one time 16 and 6 is what it's a remainder and it will go over here and it will become 67 no uh, we have to divide this with 16 16 uh, 4 times 64 because 16 5 times is what 80 so 16 4 times is 64 and remainder is 3 good okay now we cannot further divide this 14 with this 16 so here is our final answer 14 will go down over here and then this uh, remainder will come over here like that good okay now dendry of the exact decimal of this dendry number is okay how to write the exact decimal number can you see over here these are what on the left side we are having our dendry numbers 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 on the right side we are having what the exact decimal numbers in dendry numbers uh, 0 till 9 in dnd and hexadecimal number 0 till 9 uh, both numbers are same take it just like an initial number 0 till 9 but when it comes in dnd number 10 in hexadecimal we have to write what a then a b c d e till f okay so in case here is the 14 so what is the 14 is hexadecimal dnd number 14 is equal to this e so i will write e over here and then uh, 3 as it is because 0 till 9 dnd and hexadecimal digits are same that is the final answer e3 so next question c part uh, dnd number is what this time we are having uh, 490 
and let's divide with base 16 so 16 1 times 16 16 2 times 32 16 3 times is 48 so 16 4 times is 64 so we'll go 16 3 times 48 1 is the remainder and remainder will go over here at the top and it will become 10 so uh, we cannot divide uh, 10 with this 16 so we'll do what we'll just place a 0 over here and we'll take this 10 as a remainder isn't it yes when you multiply this backtrack if you get this original value then fine 16 um, we need to multiply this 16 with this this value 31 then we will get 680 and 10 will go over here as a remainder so let's further divide this number with 16 16 1 times 16 16 2 times 32 32 is greater than this 30 so 16 1 time is 16 so remainder is what 14 yes 14 is the remainder okay now we need to write its um, generate its hexadecimal value so first of all 490 its hexadecimal value is 1 will come over here and 40 will come over here and then this 10 will come from taking this root and it will come over here 10 okay now let's generate its value in previous question uh, we will convert this we have converted this 14 into e yes 14 is what e in exact decimal and this 10 is it will become what a so 1 e a is our final answer that's it so let's move towards the next question 511 okay let's divide this with 16 again make a pair over here it, it will become a 51 so 16 1 times 16 16 2 time is 32 16 3 time is what 48 and 16 4 time is 64 so we will go 16 3 time is 48 and we'll get 3 as a remainder and it will go at the top over here now it will become 31 so 16 1 times 16 again and then we'll get the remainder 14 now again divide this 13 with base 16 now 16 1 times 16 again and we'll get again 14 as a remainder isn't it so let's write its final value the hexadecimal of 511 is 1 14 14 it will go down over here just like that so final answer is 1 e e can you see here 14 is equal to e that's why okay let's move towards the next question okay uh no, this time we are having daily number 826 so let's divide with base 6 16 so this time 16 5 time is 80 16 6 time is 96 so go for 5 16 5 time is 82 will go over here and become 26 so 16 1 times 16 and then 10 is remainder yes now again divide with, with 16 it will become 51 51 so 16 3 times is 48 and 3 will be the remainder so final value of this denry uh, value uh, number of this denry value is what in hexa 3 3 and this will become what yeah right it's a 10 is a good excellent now let's solve another question here is your hint this one is your hint okay okay now again uh, we are going to divide uh, uh, divide this 1000 with base 16 to generate its hexadecimal value let's start so first of all I need to make a pair so it will become 10 no I have to add one more digit so that it will become a hundred so that we can divide with this 16 to 16 six time is 96 and 16 7 times is 112 so i will go for 16 6 time 96 and 4 will be the remainder and it will go over here at the top it will become 40 now 16 2 times is 32 and that it will get it as a remainder 
isn't it okay let's move for forward again divide this base with base 16 16 2 times 32 16 3 times 48 and 16 4 times 64 which will be greater than this 62 so i will go for 16 3 times is what 48 so what we we'll get over here 62 minus 48 we will get 14 isn't it so 10 is 58 and 4 is this yes when we will add in 48 plus 15 we will get 62 good now there is our final value 1000 is equal to this is our your dnd dnd number and now we are going to we have uh, finally got over here what the hexadecimal value for 14 i have directly converted this 14 into e so basically dnd number 14 is equal to e so 8 will come over here because 0 till 9 in hexadecimal number and dnd number both are same 0 till 9 okay so let's move towards the next question so here it is uh 2634 let's divide with base 16 so first of all we make pair so 16 1 times 16 and 10 will come over here 10 has a remainder so it will become 1 0 and 3 so 16 now 16 6 times 96 16 7 times is 112 so I will go for 16 6 times 96 and the remainder is 7 96 plus 7 is equal to 103 so now this time it will become over here 74 so 16 4 time 64 and 16 7 time is 100 and no 16 4 time 64 16 5 time 80 so 80 is greater than 74 so we will go for 16 4 time 64 and 10 we will get 10 as a remainder so now again divide this with base 16 so um can you see over here it's what about 164 it's what 100, 164 when uh, 16 10 time will give you 160 isn't it and 4 as a remainder so uh, tell me what will be the answer final answer we cannot further divide this 10 with this 16 so what will be our hexadecimal value over here of this number 2634 yes you are right a 4 a 10 will come over here 4 will go over here and then this 10 will come over here maintain these spaces so that uh, you can write its accurate value a 4 a is the final answer yes is what that's how you can generate and here is the table of basically if you have any confusion you can consider this you can even write this on on the workspace on the right side or left side of your paper it will help you in your exam as well okay now let's solve another question and this time we are having 300 3743 so let's divide this with base 16 so 16 2 times is 32 can you see over here and 16 3 times is 48 which is greater than 37 so we'll go for 16 2 times 32 and we will get 5 as a remainder now it will become 54 so 16 16 3 times is 48 fine now 48 and then what we get over here 6 48 plus 6 will give you 54 yes fine now it will become a 63 over here now 16 4 times 64 which is greater than 63 so 16 3 times again 48 and we will get what 15 now again divide 16 16 1 times 16 yes good and 7 will go over here as a remainder yes good or then 16 4 times 64 yes this one and then what will get over here 64 9 yes 9 is our final answer okay so we cannot further divide this 14 with this 16 okay 
so we will write our final answer over here 3743 JD numbers is final value is what e because 14 in hexadecimal is e and 9 because 0 till 9 in JNG and hexadecimal numbers are same so I will just write over here 9 and 15 will go over here and it will become what do you know what it will become F E 9 and F using this table okay let's move towards the next question okay 4007 come on do it who's going to perform this on the whiteboard okay perform it on your notebook I'm going to solve over here okay so let's divide with 16 16 1 times 16 16 2 times 32 16 3 times is 40, uh, 48 so I will go for the 16 2 times 32 and it will go over here and it will become 80 yes no 16 5 times 80 is over here so I will just write 5 over there okay now what else I will put 0 over here so when we will multiply 16 with 250 we will get 4000 again 4000 and 7 will 7 will go over here as a remainder yes now again 16 1 times 16 and then remainder is what 9 will go over here now it will become 90 so uh, yes 16 5 times 80 and then 10 will go over here as a remainder so let's write the final answer of this 4007 dendry number 15 will go here 10 come over here and 7 come on 7 okay who's going to write the hexadecimal value of these numbers let's come on do it do it on your notebook or do it on your sticky notebook and show me okay right answer right 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 okay I'm going to write the final answer so 15 is what F 15 is F 10 in hexadecimal is A and 7 is same thank you okay now what we are having over here huh. okay let me stop till here Thank you very much. If you have a question or query, you can uh, write in a comment box in my YouTube channel. Okay, if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for your support. Take care of yourself. Allah face.